Well, good morning, Dave Graybill, FishingMagician.com. This morning, I'm at the Kettle Falls boat ramp. And today, I'm joining the Colville Tribe, the Cheyenne County PUD, other tribes and agencies in an effort to suppress the numbers of northern pike that are in Lake Roosevelt. This is an extremely important effort. We don't want to see these voracious predators making their way down Lake Roosevelt and into the Columbia River. And I'm going to capture the action today as we pull gill nets from different locations here on Lake Roosevelt. So stay tuned. We'll be back to show you how the process works. Today's crew includes Holly McLeland on the left, principal biologist with the Colville Tribe. Dave Beardsley is at the helm. Taryn Redstar is on the right. And Shay Wolvert is in the middle. saying that the uh, bycatch, particularly for walleye, has been significantly reduced by using woven nylon nets rather than monofilament. That's a beauty, way to go. Now we're cooking, that's great. This was a tremendous experience today, being out on the Colville tribal boat, gathering up gill nets and replacing them. We pulled 17 nets today and replaced them all in different locations on the reservoir. The, the Colville boat is operated from February through November of every year. This is the fourth year of the program and they, a combined effort of the Colville Tribe, Spokane Tribe, Public Utility District, Chelan County PUD, Department of Fish and Wildlife, they've removed over 16,000 Northern Pike from Lake Roosevelt. I also want to mention that last year, they removed over 3,400 Northern Pike and sport anglers turned in over 1,100 northern pike to the drop-off locations on the reservoir and earned a $10 reward for doing that. And that accounted for a third of the catch. So sport anglers are also making a significant contribution to this effort. Every time they go out, they learn something. They take incredible amounts of data, every net set that they make, time of year, depth, location, on and on. And they've also experimented with different types of nets. The name of the game is to maximize their pike catch and reduce the catch of other species, smallmouth bass, walleye, whitefish, whatever. And they started using a smaller mesh braided nylon net as opposed to the monofilament nets and have reduced 
the bycatch of walleye in particular by 80%. The monofilament nets tend to catch everything, but now they're sorting through fewer walleye and other species and taking more pike with each net set. I want to remind anglers one of the reasons that they're doing this is to prevent the spread of these very voracious predators into the lower reaches of the Columbia River. They have done test fisheries every year. As they move down the reservoir, they encounter fewer and fewer pike and have yet to catch any in their gill nets right above Grand Coulee Dam. That's a good sign. The object of this game is not to eliminate northern pike. That would be an impossible mission. However, they are able to suppress their numbers to the point where they're keeping them in check in terms of proliferating into the lower reaches of Lake Roosevelt and then on down below Grand Coulee Dam and then, heaven forbid, below Chief Joseph Dam. This was a tremendous day. Uh, they really have this down. Uh, they operate the boat that has a hydraulic drum that makes it very efficient. And to be able to pull, sort, and put nets back for 17 times is uh, done in pretty good fashion. Uh, we left the dock about 10 o'clock this morning and we're back by about 1.30. So we got a lot of work done in pretty short amount of time. So I'll be talking to you more about that rewards program. I want you to keep stay tuned to uh, Fishing Magician TV and also the website at fishingmagician.com and also the Facebook page at fishingmagician.com for more reports on this terrific effort that's being done by the Colville tribe, other tribes and other agencies like Chelan County PUD and the Department of Fish and Wildlife to suppress the numbers of Northern Pike on Lake Roosevelt.